What's going on, guys? Pool King two two one here. Um, kind of got some bad news. The YouTube gaming app, which I currently use for my videos on, you know, video reviews, it's gonna be shut down along with any other, uh, any other um stuff that I make. So I'm not gonna be doing any of these videos in the future, which kind of sucks. So from now on, I'm only gonna be doing these weekly until the program gets shut down. So, anyway, that's not the reason why I'm doing this video. The reason why is because today's yet another video review. Now, I've been getting copyrighted for, like, multiple, multiple indications. So, I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to put this straight out and tell you that this is actually, I'm not getting paid for this one. That's just that. Alright, so anyway, let's take a look at this. It's Austin or Luna and in today's video I'm talking about something that happened with my friend's parents actually which is actually his former friend his parents and like in the past two years I've talked about a lot of experiences and I've talked about certain people that I'm not friends with anymore I've talked about people I am friends with to this day and some people seem to just get unbelievably fucking triggered like out of their mind triggered over some of my videos like that have been involved like I remember I told a story back in the day and this was a long time ago and it was involving one of my friends and it was a school story and basically he saw the video watched the entire thing and then called me and told me that he wanted it off the website because he didn't like that he was involved. Even though I never give names, like, I've only ever given, like, I think real names a couple times, and it was because my friends wanted me to. Like, I still don't like to. But anyway, today I'm talking about an experience that's just the most ridiculous experience I've ever had involving YouTube and, like, people giving a fuck about my videos. And yeah, I had haters show up to my house. And I'm gonna talk about it today, so if you enjoy this, please leave a like if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to start this shit. So, four months ago, I uploaded a video, and the video itself, I'm not going to give details or anything like that, but just know that that video is still up to this day. I never deleted it or anything like that. The video, I talked about someone in it, and he was a huge involvement in the story and stuff like that, and his parents found it. I don't know fucking how. I don't know if he showed them and it pissed them off that I was talking about him, but I didn't give a single name. And literally the only reason right now why I'm not telling you guys the video title is because I know ever since this happened, he's just been prowling my videos every single day like a fucking hawk that just swallowed laxatives, just waiting to <laughs> shit on me. So I just haven't said anything about this swallowed or the video. Laxatives. But anyway, back on track. Four months ago, I'm literally sitting in my living room, just watching fucking TV in my pajamas, right? Just chilling out. I think I already had my video made for the day. I wasn't doing anything, honestly. I was being pretty fucking lazy. And at the time, I uploaded this video like two days beforehand, and it involved my friend. Like I said, I already talked about it. And he showed his parents, or they found it somehow, and they decide to fucking drive to my house, like literally drive over to my house with their son, aka my friend at the time, who uh, was in this video, this story. And they come over. They ring my doorbell like 18 fucking times. Like, no joke. I was on my couch watching TV, and I just hear the fucking doorbell going off. Like, constantly spammed. So I get up, and I run over to the door thinking that someone's, like, having an emergency or some shit. Or giving birth on my fucking porch. Because there's no way you have to ring a doorbell what? that many times to get someone to come to the door. And I open the door, and to my surprise, there wasn't a fucking baby being born on my front porch. It was my friend's two dickhead parents standing there staring at me with their arms crossed. Looking like they literally want to shit on my door. <laughs> and just smear it around. And I was like, okay, they do not look happy with me. They're probably going to say some mean shit. They probably think I did drugs with their son or something. So me being, you know, nice and polite, I was like, hi, what's up, guys? And they just go, your YouTube channel. First thing they say is, your YouTube channel. And I was like, okay, this is how it's going to go. I know what's coming. And they were like, you did a video with your little video games in the background a couple days ago. And you talked about a story that involved our son. Was he involved in it? And I was like, uh... Yeah, the story, yeah, but the video, no, not really. I just kind of made it. And she's like, did he give you permission to talk about him in it? And I was like, look, I've had this problem before with other people, but, like, I don't need to give permission because I'm not giving out full names or I never give out personal info, so it's I not really a big deal. Yeah, and she's like, I don't give a fuck. I want it down. And that's what she said. And I was like, okay, chill out. I'm not going to take it down because I like that video, and so do a lot of people. <laughs> and it doesn't violate anyone's privacy, so I don't see the problem with it. But if you honestly want me to, because I've had this happen before and people get really mad when I say no, I'll unlist it. And that means no one can see it from this point on, but the people that had the yeah, link can or whatever. Reaction. And she's like, no, I want it down. I want your channel down. I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to get your channel down. I was like, you're going to go to the police. You're going to... 
you're gonna get me fucking handcuffed for making YouTube gaming videos. I think if anyone called, can you imagine calling 911 and being like, there's this fucking guy, his name's PewDiePie, he makes fucking Let's Plays, I want his channel down. Like, it's not gonna work well. Anyway, I was just like, you're gonna call the police? I was like, they wouldn't do anything. Like, I'm not hurting anyone or getting anyone in trouble, so I don't see a big deal. Like, I'm willing to help. And she just starts getting really mad at this point, screaming, saying she knows people on the internet that can get my channel just shut down or whatever. And pretty much the overall message I got from this is she hates my guts. She's a very powerful woman with powers, and she was going to get my channel shut down. That's all I kept hearing. So finally, I was just like, okay, look, I offered to unlist it. No one else would see it. But you're being completely unreasonable. Like, just leave. And that was kind of mean, but, like, she wouldn't stop screaming at me at my own house, so I just told her to leave. And my friend, keep in mind, my friend the whole time is just sitting behind them with his arms crossed, just, like, sitting there, like, looking really freaked out. So I don't think he wanted this to happen. But anyway, this lady fucking pulls out her wallet, takes this little, like, business card, crumbles it up, and then throws it at me. Like, hits me in the chest with a fucking business card. And I grab this stupid fucking card, and I look up, and she just walks away. And I look at the card, and it's her little, like work card thing with her phone number on it basically saying like call her and i had no intentions to call her fuck that but she left and i was just happy i was like yes i'm done i don't have to talk to them anymore it was so weird though she did all the talking like the other two didn't say a single thing but they walk away i go back in my house no one's home at my house so no one saw this and i just sit down on my table for a second i open my laptop i go to the video to unlist it and then i was like you know what nah fuck that I just decided to not do it because, like, there was no point. I didn't give out his name. I didn't give out info. I've had the same shit happen before, very similar stuff. And, like, there's no point in taking it down because it wouldn't matter. But I never heard from her or my friend again, which is kind of fucked up. Like, I didn't get to talk to my friend anymore. I think she had something to do with that. Like, I don't think she wanted him hanging out with me anymore, even though we've been friends for a really long time. But that fucking sucked. But it was just hilarious that this, like, crazy-ass mom showed up in my house and was, like, yelling at me, saying she's going to shut down my YouTube and that she wanted it shut down. Like... <laughs> I don't fucking know what would have happened if she tried to call the cops. But yeah, that's basically the end. I just kind of want to talk about it because I thought it was funny that like two uh, very old haters showed up to my door. They weren't really haters. They probably didn't even watch one other video. But they were fucking pissed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this funny little story. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Drop your stories in the comments down below. I always love reading them. And yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Wow. So basically what happened was the parents got pissed off because... The guy basically made a story about their child, who he never gave a name out to. He actually made up a made-up name. And they got pissed off for it. They actually recognized um, the story that he was telling. And then they tell him to shut his channel down. That's kind of pathetic. Alright, um... There was actually this one YouTube video where, um, hang on, let me move the camera. Oh no. There was one where, um, this video was actually kind of a two part with him. Um, it was about like a Skype call or whatever. There it is. So something recently happened that I had to make a video about. This just happened recently. And I couldn't believe what I like, heard, saw, and just in general, it was crazy to me. Because I never once thought when I started this whole YouTube thing that I would witness something like this happen to me. And I'm going to tell you about it. So a couple days ago, I got a YouTube inbox. Someone inboxed me on YouTube. I usually never check it. But I got a message, and it was the first time I've ever checked it in so long saying, hey, you know, we're a company, we want to sponsor you, hit us up on Skype, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, I'll look into it. So I added them on Skype, and the minute I added them, the Skype looked fishy. It had, like, a random name on it. It had nothing to do with the quote-unquote company that contacted me. Yeah, and I was just like, all right, whatever. And they call me. Except it's not catfish. Now I'm expecting to answer and talk to some b It wasn't like a catfish, basically. It was more like a... Oh, shit, what do you call them? Fuck, I forgot the word. I think... 
Uh, just call them fakers. Businessy dude that goes on to pitch some fucking company to me or some sponsorship. And I'm just like, all right, let's see here. So they call me. I answer. And I'm like, hello? And this guy's just like, yeah, hi, Mr. Luna. Um, we want to talk to you about something because um, I didn't know what other way to contact you than to kind of get you like this. And yeah, and he just kept on rambling. And I was like, yeah, what's up, man? And he's just like, so my son's been watching your videos a lot. And the minute he said that, I was like, okay, what is this? Like, what, like, what did you just trap me into? I, like, this isn't anything with sponsorships or gaming. Like, what the fuck? And he puts on his webcam, and it's him, his son, and his mom. And they have my channel open. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck did I just get baited into? And I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, yeah, so my son's been watching your videos a lot. And I just really needed to talk to you because I really think you're a bad influence on everyone. And I was just like, Here's where it gets what? Nuts. Like, I'm just sitting here baffled. I'm like, what the fuck? fuck so i just told him i was like yeah man i'm sorry my channel isn't meant to inspire people to do bad things if anything my channel is meant to inspire people to not do bad things and to learn from mistakes that they've made in the past and he just kept telling me about how bad of a person i was he's like see this is what i actually like about this guy i mean even though he looks like he like does bad things he actually doesn't i actually looked him up and he actually he's actually pretty cool the guy is actually trying to convince his audience not to do drugs or alcohol or do anything else that might get them into trouble. I like that. I like that in a YouTuber. You are, you know, you're a disgrace to the YouTube world. Like, you are inspiring little kids to go out and do stuff. I was like, what? I told him, I was like, hey, man, I'm sorry that, you know, one person had to take my videos the wrong way. And I actually asked him, I was like, what did your son even do that, like, made you want to call me? He's like, oh, nothing. I just caught him watching your videos, and I don't want this to happen to any other kids. And I was just like, okay, so you're trying to say that I inspire people to do bad things when your son didn't do anything bad. He just watches my videos. And he's like, well, it could happen in the future. And I just kind of cut him off, and I was like, hey, man, look. It happened at the same time with my dad once. He caught me watching, um... I don't know if most of you have heard DSP Gaming. Um, I'll speak the devil. I actually got a notification. <laughs> anyway, um, he caught me watching um, one of DSP's um, videos from um, like when I was like five or six. He was like swearing a lot. And I found it funny. Because he was actually trying to make his audience laugh. Kind of like what I do now. Um, but anyway, he tells me that that's not appropriate content i was like dad i can watch whatever i want okay so just get off my case what i like is what i like i don't tell you how to do your job do i i'm not trying to be a role model to anybody because that would be i didn't really say i don't tell you how to do your job do i i would have gotten my ass kicked for that be fake as fuck like i'm not a role model um if anything the only thing i should be inspiring kids to do is to either one start their own youtube channel or two say hey that kid over there austin isn't really that smart in his past you know maybe i should learn and not fuck up like him exactly. and he was like yeah man i understand that and like what you're doing is cool but you know you are inspiring kids to do some bad things and i was like hey man i've never gotten one wrong message about what i've been doing and i've never had one kid say hey you know you know, if anything, I've gotten jokes. I've gotten jokes before of people saying, hey, man, I'm, a, I'm nine years old. I'm going to go hit a fucking crack pipe. You know what I mean? That. I got jokes like that sent to me all the time. And um, that's just a joke. And I told him that. And he's like, well, I think there's kids out there that are inspired to do bad things by you. And I told him straight up. I was like, look, man, I had this in my about section for a long time. It straight up said, the point of this channel is to entertain and be a cool place for everyone to just come together and, you know, laugh about some stories or just some videos that I'm making, not to fucking yeah, teach someone to go out $100. and do bad things or get in trouble. And that is that is 100% true. Like, that was my about section for a very long time. And uh, I told him that. And he was just like, well, I'll leave you to do whatever you want to do, but I really think you should take a good, hard look at what you're doing on your YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, man, I have multiple times, and uh, I am 100% proud of what we do. Uh, you know, the whole army of you guys are awesome. You know, you guys are all great people. And they know not to fuck up, and they know to learn from my mistakes, not just theirs. And he's just like, all right, whatever, bye. And he hung up. And he called me ignorant, too. He said, whatever, you're being ignorant, bye. And he hung up. And I was just like, okay. 
And that whole fucking Skype call was so awkward because, first of all, they had their webcam on, and it's a fucking father and a mom and a, the son in the middle just grilling me through their webcam. And I'm just, like, sitting here watching them stare into my soul as they interrogate me and, like, ask me weird questions about my channel. And I was just like, damn. And the poor kid in the middle looks so, like, angry because, like, I don't know. He just probably felt bad or embarrassed or something. But... The funny part about it was, is there was nothing wrong done. They were just literally mad about my videos. And I never expected to see that happen to me. Like, I never, ever thought that would happen. And the whole time, it was so awkward. They were just so weird, man. They were the weirdest parents ever. And it was just fucking crazy. Um, but that's basically it, guys. I just want to tell you guys about this. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. It'd be really sick if we get 3,000 likes on this video. It's definitely a crazier one. So, yeah, leave a comment below if you ever had to deal with some weird parents. And, yeah, I'll see you all later. I love you all so much. Peace. Now, what's really funny about this is that he never expected to do a part two until this actually went up. <laughs> What is going on guys, it's Luna here, and I have a funny ass part 2 story for you guys today. It's been so long since I've ever done a part 2 to any story because nothing really happens. But, I have a part 2 story for parents from my channel that happened a few days ago. And uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll give you a quick rundown on what happened in it. Um, basically, two parents, um, it's a story, and these two parents basically lied, said that they were a controller sponsorship, and that I had to call them on Skype to talk about the sponsorship. Yeah, so I called them, they put their webcam on, and it ends up being these two angry parents that rant to me about how my channel is um, stupid and that I should quit and just basically just insults and bullshit and uh, basically saying that I'm a bad influence even though I've explained to them that I'm not. And I just couldn't get through to them and they hung up on me and um, you know we both just kind of hung up and didn't really speak, but it was funny and I made a video about it. And um, they got really mad, and uh, again, I'm going to tell you about part two. So last night I get a Skype message. I unblocked them on Skype after that video went up, by the way. Um, oh, I unblocked them because I was like, hey, you know, why not see if they PM me again or something? And I did. I get a PM from the dad, and he's like, we need to talk. Call me when you can. And I was like, um, no thanks, man. And he calls me. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll answer it. This could be hilarious. So I answer it. And before I could even say hello, he goes, this is bullshit. And I'm like, what? And he goes, this is bullshit and you know it. I'm like, sir, what is BS? And he's like, you know what's BS. You made a video breaching all of our privacy. This is such bullshit. And he, he was just swearing at me, insulting me, threatening me, being a complete, like, just dick. And I replied, and I was like, sir, how is this a breach of privacy? Like, I made a video about what happened. I didn't even drop names. Like, exactly. I could have gave out your Skype. I could have gave out screenshots. Like, I didn't take screenshots because... I don't give a fuck. Like, I told him, I was like, dude, I don't care. Like, I don't care about you. I don't care about what your names are. Like, I'm not going to give out your name. I'm not going to give out your Skype name. And I'm not going to give out your YouTube name because I don't give a shit. Like, I'm not going to do that. Why would I put you on blast? He's like, you did. You did put us on blast. It's such a privacy breach. I was like, how? I didn't give out any of your private information, so it's not a privacy breach. And he's just went off on a full-on rant, swearing at me, saying the same things that he said in the first Skype call about my channel being bad, about how I'm ignorant, and about how it is a privacy breach, and that I'm just not getting the point. And I told him, I was like, explain the point. And he goes, I don't need to explain the point. Because he didn't say the, lo the location, he didn't say the name, he didn't say who they, or what they look like, they didn't even show a picture. So how is that a privacy breach? Point. I'm an adult. And then he hung up the Skype call. And I was like, what the fuck? So I, I called him back. I wanted to resolve the situation. You know, I'm like, all right, I'll call him back. And he ignored it and then blocked me on Skype. And I just started laughing immediately. I was like, holy shit, dude. So I call my friends and they're just like, dude, you have to make this into a video tomorrow. Like, please make a video about this. So I was like, hey, why not? So parents found my channel part two. Um, I thought it was so fucking funny because... He literally just did the same thing in the first Skype call, but with just way louder and way more threats and just way more mean things to say. And the whole time that he was doing it, I was just sitting there laughing because, like, he literally, I, I tried to, like, explain. I was like, well, how is it a privacy breach? Like, if you can explain to me that it's a privacy breach and, like, give me, like, a real, like, reason why it is, then I'll fucking agree with you. And he's just like, I don't need to give you a reason. I'm an adult. And then he hung up the Skype call. Yeah, and I was like, all right, you know, whatever. 
And uh, yeah, you know, I would never do that. I wouldn't give out private information because that is a privacy breach. And yeah, but yeah, I thought I'd tell you guys a story. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all later. Peace. Wow. That was just something, wasn't it? All right, uh, let me see how much time. Whoa, 20 minutes? Damn. Time does fly. All right, well, anyway, I think it's a good time to call it there. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that about sums it up for tonight. Um, thank you so much for watching. Tons more videos coming, so that way we actually get to experience some more fun. Um, I'll definitely try and put one more gaming video up before one of my favorite games gets taken down. And I'll try and do more YouTube reviews, and, and I'll try and do more hate comments as well, you know, on games. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget, you the king, you.